Despite mathematics being a challenge over the past years at the National Grade 6 assessment, 55.51% of students score 50% or higher, marking the highest national score in the subject to date. In 2015, 45.88% of pupils score 50% or above in English, rising to 69.25% this year. In social studies, the percentage increased from 46.5% in 2015 to 64.77% in 2025, while science students scoring a 50% pass rate, which represents an increase from 42.12% in 2015 to 63.7% in 2025. Minister of Education Priya Manichan, during the release of the 2025 NGSA results on Wednesday, alluded to the statistics. The overall pass rate from 49% to 63% of our children in this country passing all the subjects. Notably, 93 candidates wrote English, 55 for social studies, 228 candidates scoring a full score in science and 472 receiving a full score in mathematics. 15,784 students sat the National Grade 6 assessment. Head of State Irvin Ali in a video statement congratulated the nation's NGSE top performers. President Ali urged students who may have not attained A grade schools to not be discouraged as it is not the end of the world. Do not use this as a basis on which you determine your future. That in life, there are moments of immense accomplishment. There are moments of disappointment. The head of state urged parents to continue being supportive of their children as the results at the NGSA is not a determinant of their destiny. Meanwhile, opposition leader Aubrey Norton also offered congratulatory messages to the students. This opportunity is taken to congratulate all the students who would have done the grade six exam 2025. But we want to say a special congratulation to the top students. He, however, raised concerns regarding the matriculation rate. While we are happy that a small percentage did extremely well, we're concerned that our education system is not delivering high quality education across all schools so that all our children can matriculate. Antonio, the reporting for the HEP Nightly News.